swag, 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 swag. Back in this bitch. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Laid Back. Back in here with another reaction, another review, another episode. And look, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hey! hey. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Notification button for your boy. Like I said, I'm gonna be dropping three episodes a week. Y'all must have thought I was asleep or something like that. Y'all must have thought I was in the bed. I'm back. Yo, so in this episode of Everyday Struggle, this is the 100th episode, which is huge, man, because a lot of people had these dudes counted out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was thinking it wasn't going to go three months, five months, but they done made it. And I'm happy for them because, you know, I actually like the show. You know what I'm saying? I like Joe Budden. I like academics. I like Nadeska. I like the whole trio that they got going on. I, and I and I, I like the show, man. I, I came front. So... Let's go ahead and get into it, man. They were talking about the NFL boycott. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I need to see some comments about this, man. Do y'all think that the people that locked arms should have took a knee? What do y'all think? What do y'all think about Tom Brady leaving emojis under Aaron Rodgers? You know what I'm saying? Uh, post. Because, you know, Tom Brady didn't want to get into it at first. Y'all let me know, man. It's getting kind of sticky, man. It's owners is out there locking arms and stuff. like. But y'all won't get nobody no job. You know, y'all let me know, man. But let's get off of that. They got into the Kylie Jenner thing, being pregnant by Travis Scott, allegedly. Um, I don't really care. I know y'all probably care. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? But if that's what they doing, they two adults, they two grown people. If that's what they choose to do with their life, then... Let them do that. So, salute to them if they are having a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know they're going to do right by the child. I just hope everything works out with them. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that good vibe and that positive energy. So, then, they got into the whole Young Thug thing. Do y'all think Young Thug need a record right now? Do y'all think, like, it's, he been a little dry. He need, he need to come out with another banger. He need to come out with some more heat. Or do you think he still, you know, he still can coast for a little while off of the stuff that he been doing and off of the songs that he got out now? Because let's not forget, he do got some hits. But do you think it's about time for another Young Thug banger? And what did y'all think about the project that he just dropped? You know what I mean? What y'all think about that? Leave the comments below. I haven't heard it yet. I'll probably go check it out just because, just to stay up, up to date with everything. And plus, I am a Young Thug fan as far as like, yeah, I think he, he he dope at what he do. I think he different. And I think his creativity and his freeness um, is dope. A lot of people can't, you know, and won't do that. He expressing himself. And you got to respect that. So, yeah. But then they get into the whole thing like, who do you think has a bigger upside between Young Thug and Uzi? Who do you think got the bigger upside between Young Thug and Uzi? And I ain't gonna lie, that was a doozy. Like, um, I don't know. Um, I would say, I still would say Young Thug. I still would say Young Thug got a bigger upside than Lil Uzi. Because Young Thug been around for a couple years now. And Uzi already was like, man, it'll be a blessing or if I can make it to four years. So th I think Thug has already solidified itself as being a fixture in hip hop mu music to where he's going to be here for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he going nowhere. I think he found his pocket. He found his lane. He, he caters to his audience. And I think that they really, they really like what he do and they really, they really mess with him. So what I'm saying is this young thug, and his creative style, his marketability, as far as how he creates conversation about his brand, I think Uzi has stolen some of that from him. He has stolen some of that, some of that same kind of stuff that Thug do, and kind of made it into his thing. So I would say Uzi is kind of a spinoff, slightly a Thug. And if y'all don't see that, man, look. If y'all don't, if y'all don't agree with that. I don't know what y'all looking at. But then it becomes, I think, down to personal preference. Like, 
who do you like better as an artist do you like young thug more than lil uzi do you like lil uzi better than young thug it's kind of like up to you at that point so but yo shout out to them boys man everyday struggle for hitting a 100th episode salute to y'all keep it coming keep the great moments coming keep the great debates coming keep the good vibes coming and let's just see what another hundred episodes will look like they making this show great and i appreciate all y'all for listening all the new subscribers thank you and all the new people that's that's checking in check out my other videos that's up right now go scroll through them or y'all let me know what i should react to as well because I'm going to re react to more things than just, you know, everyday struggle. If y'all want me to react to songs or whatever, just let me know. We'll go ahead and make that happen. But you already know, it's your boy Laid Back, man, the Critics Critic. Thank you for watching. Self-love and positivity. I'm out. Yeah.